Hey guys, how's it going? So today I want to show you how you can make money um, from basically being a translator online. So if you do know uh, more than one language, uh, it doesn't have to be natively, it doesn't have to be, you know, you don't have to be fluent in the language, which I know a lot of you are anyway. I um, haven't actually spoken to some of my subscribers, I know you are multilingual anyway, and a lot of you actually can speak, you know, Spanish and, and, and French and things like that. Now, a lot of schools are actually teaching like French and Spanish as compulsory now anyway, so a lot of you will know different languages. And if you do, you can you can actually use that to make a lot of money, you know. Um, and you can still do this method even if you don't know the languages, and you can still make a bit of money. Um, but, you, you know, you're going to be sort of half in your profits. So, you know, if you don't know a language, it doesn't mean you have to tune out of this video or anything like that, because you can still make money. And if you're not fluent, it, it's absolutely fine. So there's a, a lot of these websites online. Um, one of them is the one I'm showing you now, which is thewordpoint.com. And basically, you sign up um, and you become a translator. So you will get you know a ton of transcripts and pieces of writing and things that are going to be in a certain language. And you you say what language you can um, translate that into. So you know it, it can be Word documents, Excel files, PowerPoint things like that. Um, so, you know, if you're English or French, you can translate to French, for example, then there's one and we, you, you, it tells you exactly how much you will get paid. Uh, so you're going to get paid, you know, 11 cents per word that you translate, which is, you know, that's quite a lot because if you do, for example, 100 words, you're going to have $11 um, and you're probably going to be doing anywhere between 500 to 1,000 words. So, um, if we just open a calculator here and we can have a look. So if we do 500 words at a minimum, and we times that by the 11 cents that we'll make, there's $55 per translation that we do as a minimum. And we could earn even more than that if we you know, did more words. So um, you, know, you, you can sort of choose categories as well that you, you, you're an expert in. You know, if you're going to try and translate this you need to sort of be knowledgeable in the subject as well um, again you don't have to you can just go with like a general category but you know if you're quite good at business or, or art and literature you can choose those categories as well um, now if we click translate we it will then take us to a page where you know we sign up and things and you can um, really tailor this to basically say how good you are so you know if you're a professional you can earn a lot more it does depend on on how good your um, your skills are in that other language and you can add more than one language so if you do know um, multiple languages you know if you know um, French and um, Dutch for example you can choose that and you're going to get more per word because you're more valuable to the website so the more valuable to the website you are, the more um, languages that you're sort of aware of and know, then the more they're going to pay you um, as a translator. So you can also add services um, that you'd be prepared to do as well. So if we look down here at extras, um, you know you can add a 30% increase on the price um, if you're prepared to do proofreading and support and you know quality checks and things like that. So it's always worth adding them in there because you'll get more money just from adding those. Um, and you know they will ask you you know can you do this and you when you do you'll get more money so again then the next part is just you know putting in some details now the best part about it is that you can get paid out via PayPal or bank transfer and it will be in your actual currency so you know if you're you know in euros Great British pounds Canadian dollars US dollars you can choose your currency and your way of uh, being paid so again, you just accept the terms and conditions, you know, you, you fill in the form and before you know it, you'll go through a, a very s s um, small verification process where they just check over your application and once you're approved, you will be a, a translator and you will start getting paid and you will start getting things sent to you, which you will then have to translate. Now, another one of these is um, this website called unbabble.com translators. And again, this you know it says join us if you've got language skills, and uh, you know it's it sort of tells you the benefits. You can work from home, work anywhere at all, um, and you can earn a fair bit of money. Now, one of the ways that a lot of you are probably going to say, um, "Can I can I just do this?" is why don't we just use Google Translate? You know, why don't we just take that piece of writing that they give us and just put it into Google Translate? 
Now the problem with this, um, although it would work, the, the Google Translate isn't always the best at sort of putting the sentences together um, in terms of punctuation and things like that. Um, so although you could do this and use Google Translate, you probably wouldn't get paid as much as if you knew the language, but it's certainly worth, um, you know, you can do this via Google Translate. Now one of the best ways, if you don't know another language, to be able to do this is to look around at these websites. So uh, these are called um, translation. So, you know, if you put in um, translator jobs, um, you know, it will come out with a, a ton of jobs, you know, translator jobs online. It will come out with a ton of, of places that, you know, offer translation, working from home and things like that. Now, what you want to do is you want to go on these websites and you want to look at how much they're charging for translation and how much others are paying. So, for example, if you get one website that is going to pay you $20 for a translation, but then you find another website that's only going to charge $10, then you take that, uh, that you know, sort of text that you get from the $20 website, you put it into a $10 website, you get someone else to do the work, and then you make that $10 profit by uploading it back to your website um, where you're getting paid to be a translator. So it's basically just sort of, you know, undercutting people and, and using other people's translation skills to benefit yourself as well because these websites do have different payout rates and charge different prices. So if you can find websites that do, um, you know, pay better um, and, and charge less, then it's definitely worth doing that and getting someone else to do the work. That way it's all automated, you know, you're going to look like a great translator and you've done, you know, hardly any of the work. Um, so it's definitely worth looking into. It's definitely worth signing up for these websites if you do know the languages, but if you don't, then, you know, there's other ways, as I've just mentioned. Um, and you can make a ton of money from this. You know, this, this can be, you know, some additional income. It's completely tax-free. It's going to be straight paid into your PayPal or, um, you know, your bank account. So it's, it's absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much it to go on for this video. I just wanted to make a quick one just to let you know and make you guys aware of this because as I said, a lot of my subscribers are multilingual and they do, they do know um, quite a few languages. Um, so yeah, you can cash in on this definitely guys and uh, it's definitely worth looking into. So let me know how you get on in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content and uh, we'll see you guys. Yeah, thanks for watching the video. Just wanted to let you know that we still have an iPhone 10 up for grabs and an iPhone 8. Uh, the iPhone 8 is a 64 gig model, uh, which you can probably see there. And the iPhone 10 is a 256 gigabyte model. All you gotta do to win these is just subscribe, hit that bell icon below, like the video you're watching right now, and then just comment on the, the giveaway video, which is on our channel, and you could be in for a chance of winning either of these two phones. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, and just make sure to enter that competition for your chance. Thanks.